everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on, dare I say, 428 Big Block Mach 1 from the factory in Candy Apple Red. How do you not love that car to start with? Right, wow. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of rarity for a second. I'm gonna put this down because I wanna read you something. This right here, many people know what it is. A lot of people don't know what it is. This is called a Marty Report. Kevin Marty is the person who produces these. This is the Deluxe Marty Report, all right? And so what it tells us is how this car was built at the factory. So this way we know uh, in the world of fake cars and stampings and all that kind of good stuff, this is what we see as authenticity, right? And then we also also uh, are offered something which is really nice and that's the breakdown of this car all right and here uh, and I'm not going to go through all of the stuff here because this is all posted on the website as well <laughs> excuse me but just uh, 592 592 of these are red and black cars so if you break it down to just the colors right just the colors all the other cars were 300,000 Mustangs built that year 300,000 69 Mustangs this is one of in the only 500 range okay it is actually only only one of one. It is only one of one because this is the one that was ordered with an immersion block heater. So red car, black interior, and these options is the only one of its kind in, uh, ordered with an immersion black heater, block heater, right? Which is pretty cool when you think about it. However, I didn't want to break it down that far. I just wanted you guys to see that uh, that's here. And then this car was very expensive for its time, right? It was 5212. Think about that. That's Corvette money almost uh, uh, as we're getting closer to that right there. And this was an expensive car. Not many people ordered it because it was so expensive but it's a great driving car that's the biggest part about this man it may be super fast because it's only rated at 335 horsepower but it is like 450 horsepower it is definitely way faster than uh, than the 335 feels and then this tag here they build this is the original uh, oh, this is a reproduction of the original window sticker by Marty, and this is the Deluxe Marty Report. It's expensive. It comes with the car, all right? There's a couple small things that have been done to uh, the car that I want to let you know that we have all of that stuff to put it back. So the Cobra emblems, Cobra Jet emblems that are supposed to go here are not on there. They were on order when we did the video. That's coming, all right? Uh, the steering wheel and tachometer on here, that's been put on there. I would recommend, if it was me and I own this car, we do have the stock steering wheel that comes with it, it's in the trunk of the car, is we could also put it back in the dash, right? Put the, the tachometer in the dash, clean all that up a little bit if you wanted to. Some people love this aftermarket tachometer, that's what we grew up on, that's what they want, that's what they want. So we can do it either way. Real deal shaker hood, you say, well Tom, what exactly is a shaker hood? And let me explain to you what a shaker hood means and why it's called a shaker. It's a shaker because the hood scoops of most cars are bolted to the hood, so they don't move, right? This is bolted to the engine, and for a seal to keep the water out, as the engine's idling or as it torques, it's moving along. And when you're driving the car, or right, you're at a light and it's doing its little thing, it's really cool to watch. All right, so I get a little excited because when you get cars like this and you don't get them very often, it's really, really nice. One last tiny piece that you can do that's not, too, uh, that's not exactly authentic, however, I think it adds a whole lot to the car, is the Magnum 500 wheel with the poly glass on it or the BFG on it, right? This is the correct um, wheel for this year, right? But the next year you got that, that beautiful Magnum 500 that's all chrome, not like the GM wheels that have a trim ring and center cap. It was a really nice wheel, maybe like a Mopar wheel. Uh, and that looks really nice on here too. You can look at some of the cars we have in the past. We have some 69s that we've put that on. It's in our sold section for Mustangs, all right? All right, so lastly, uh, I have rambled a lot and I'm sorry for that, but I want you to know all these things, okay? So when we're talking about all new chrome and stainless and what have you, let's get on to paint and talk about the good stuff next. I don't know every single thing about every car ever built, but I do know this, that this right here uh, is set up the way it's supposed to be. So for instance, we have really nice candy apple red paint, okay? Then we also have the matte finish here uh, that goes down the hood that adds the look to these cars that make them a Mach 1, right? And then the satin shaker to go along as well. But what you really care about is how shiny it is. And so why we do these videos is because pictures can lie, man. People can make pictures look whatever they want to nowadays with AI and everything that's going on, but the video, man, the video tells us what we have. We're gonna look at the lights in the ceiling here. We can see the ceiling itself, all the ribs of the ceiling in the paint, right? Look at that, that is really cool. And now we're gonna see if we, how well we can read uh, this little uh, sheet that we have here. So window sticker off of there. And look how crystal clear every single letter is. 
picture of the car in there. It's just, this is the, this is the defining moment of why does a car look so good? So a lot of times people say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but I don't really know why, right? But this one here with all new chrome and new stainless and the shaker, uh, the new wipers and the trim and the louvers and the rear wing on this car, it's got all the things that make a great muscle car. All right, so let's take a peek under here because even if you don't love engines, we have lots of clients who just love cars, right? They just love cars. This is not really important to them under the hood, but we make it so that it is important if you wanted to go somewhere. Hood pins, I love hood pins. I gotta tell you what, I think on my casket, I'm gonna ask that they put hood pins on there because that's how much I love them. All right, back to where we're staying focused. All right, focus. All right, so we just had this car wet sand and buffed. It's got a little bit of dust and stuff like that on it from that. I just want to get the video done before uh, it it got away too much but we need to talk about authentic right the battery topper under the hood the correct air cleaner the shaker right here with uh, emissions decals timing decals um, this also has power steering right and power brakes right these are things that people forget to ask about because most of these cars did not come standard with that right it did not come standard with all those things and it's a lot of car to have to wheel around without having uh, without having that this is a seal to keep the rain out that has a little drain that comes down another rubber seal to keep water from coming in here as well uh, it's got the auto light hoses really the only thing kind of incorrect underneath the hood here are these high performance wires because the engine's pretty high performance the engine was just uh, done I don't know that you have to have them it's up to you auto light hoses would make it look a little more correct right uh, so I let you decide that and you could go from there or you could always just take off the Moroso that's on there and it'll look like it's really stock anyway I'm get picky about stuff because I really like cars and I really love for you to get the, the correct thing that's on there and that is it what we have for now so you'll be proud to go to a car show and be able to see those things all right, so one of the things I love about a Mustang is if I was to remove the Mustang emblem, right, 99% of the world would still know that this is a Mustang. These taillights, the way they look, these louvers, this wing, this is a highly optioned car, so it has a lot of cool stuff on it, right? Is it? Great exhaust tips, the reverse lights are another touch, right? A lot of times you'll see reverse lights in here, and this is very plain. This is a nice touch that adds just another level of. Undercarriages all detailed. We can't show you that on the video, otherwise we'd be laying on the floor. However, we do have pictures of it online, which I think look really good. And then inside here uh, is the last detail part, right? We have uh, jacking instructions right here. We have a spare tire. We have a, a nice carpeted mat with the Pony logo inside. It's detailed, like if you wanted to go to a car show, you could show this off. Looks good. All this well in here is also polished up too. It looks nice. It was. These are the kind of things I see sometimes when somebody polishes the inside of the trunk or the well, I know that they did the extra job to make for a really nice paint. And then it closes nicely, things fit well, and you have a nice car to start with. All right, so you walk up to your car and you go, man, this is a great looking car. And you're right, it is a great looking car. But I will say that the interior is as nice as the exterior of this car and really just, just loaded up with good stuff. And I want to share that with you. So let's get inside real quick and see that. All right. So uh, many cars, many muscle cars or pony cars, as they're called, are not very big. This is nice because I'm 6'1 and I have uh, plenty of room in here. I like the fact that uh, this has some great stuff. So let's run over some of the things that are really nice. First off, we have an, a new interior, right? We have the correct knit interior with the red uh, piece uh, stitched in here, new door panels, new dash, what have you. Um, we have a factory tack, and the factory tack is here, but the previous owner wanted to have this here and this wheel. I need to know whether you want me to take this off, make the factory tack work, and put the stock wheel back on, uh, which we have. It came with the car, and uh, uh, I don't know. That's really up to you. Little stuff to me that says uh, some cars are nicer than others is a simple fact that the clock works. You may say, well, Tone, what, the heck, what do I care about the clock? I got a watch, I got my phone, I got all this stuff. That's not the point. The point is that the footwell lighting is working. The clock is working. Like the dome lights in the rear are working. That says to me a little better restoration than other cars because many times it's a pain to make that work. Even the lights in the doors right now are working that shine down on the ground at night. Just little stuff like that. Console, buckets, comfortable, cool dash, all new interior, great looking paint, and looking at the shaker hood out the window here while, it's, while you're driving and it's shaking for a little bit is really, really nice. 
All right, so let's, uh, let's review some of the things that we talked about for a minute to make this a little different than some of the other cars we're talking about. One of 592 in this color combination. That is a ridiculously low number, not to mention how many are left uh, 50 plus years later, right? 55 years later, how many are left? Don't know, right? Very few, that I do know. And then you throw in the fact that Kevin Marty and the Marty Report shows this could be one of one. I thought that was a great number. That's a pretty amazing when you're talking about 300,000 Mustangs, all right? So, real quick, shaker hood, optional. R code, meaning shaker hood, fresh air induction, big block 428, right? Serious power, serious power. And don't be slighted by an automatic anymore. Automatics, first off, at the track are always faster than anybody who drives a manual. And this car is super fast. You can still shift it if you want to, but it drives really great. Power steering, power disc brakes, right? Uh, that beautiful new interior, great color combination. Rear spoiler, rear louvers, correct wheels, uh, brand new fresh tires all the way around. Uh, new chrome, new stainless. I mean, it can go on and on and on. I'm just telling you, man, you try to restore a car like this, you'll be spending two or three years, and it'll cost you way more than getting something you could drive this weekend. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this real deal, 428 Mach 1. And uh, if you don't mind, share the video uh, out there. That helps us, and I really appreciate that. Uh, maybe your friends would like it as well. And uh, hit the like button down there. I always forget to say hit the like button because I want you to like it, but I don't want you to be forced to like it. I hope you like it, all right? And lastly, uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time, and I will see you on the next one.